Hey, what's up, guys? This is Guy here with KB Trainings. Welcome to the lab number 2.2.7, in which we're going to practice on VLANs and trunking. So this is for our course on the Cisco CCNA 200-301. In the last um, lesson or last video, I gave you the questions or the labs that we're going to resolve now. So this is the resolution to those questions. And if you're watching this on YouTube, the lesson is available on kbtronics.com forward slash CCNA. And if you want to join me, I'm going to help you get your CCNA and boost your career. I'm going to show you how to resolve the labs. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to go to the forum to ask your question. Or you can send me an email at contact at kbtronics.com. So let's jump right in with the first lab, which is the lab zero. Um, it should be right here. So this is the lab zero that I gave you. And we have some instructions here for security reasons. We need to put all the unused VLAN in the VLAN 98, which is called safe. And we have um, the native VLAN on all the, the trunks in all on all the switches is the VLAN 10. And we have the details on the different VLANs here. And we do routing on the router. We also, yeah, we just have to configure and make sure we have connectivity between all the PCs that we have here. I would probably be pinging from this one to that. And there's no configurations right now. We just need to work our way through the whole configuration. So first of all, this is down. I can bring it up by coming here and grabbing the power supply and dropping it right there. Okay, that's all. This will come up. So let's start and make sure that all the PCs have IP addresses uh, first. No, this one doesn't. I think they don't. So let's go ahead and put all the IP addresses. Um, this is the default gateway that was given to us right here. So this is for the VLAN 10 because I can see it from the label and the IP that I gave to it. So this is going to be the VLAN 2, I mean VLAN 172. Oops, not there. Up to Okay. All right, that's for the VLAN 192. 192 168.0.2. 192, damn, 168.0.1. All right, so let me make sure this one is correct. That zero that two. Okay. All right, so this is 192.168.0.3. All right, this is 172.0.1. That's your that three. That's your that three. Okay. Oh no, I did a mistake there. That's your that one. That's the default gateway. Let me make sure this is that one too. Okay. And this is. Then that's your that three. Then that's your that one. All right. So all the PCs are configured. So now let's go to the switches. Um, I want to start with this one, the big one here, but yeah, you know, let's let me do the switch two first, and we go under the CLI, and we do. I usually like to give it a name, so this one is uh, switch two. Okay, what do we have to do on switch two? Um, Conf T, we're already there. Let's create a VLAN. So we have the VLAN 98, which is named safe, because that's what we see here in this instruction here. So we also have the VLAN, nope, the VLAN 10 named Finice. We have the VLAN 192 or 172 first named legal and I know you can use VTP for this but we're not supposed to see VTP, uh, VTP in this course but I can show you that in the next in one of the next lessons I can show you VTP all right so um, we have the VLAN 192 with the name 
uh, I think it's sales. All right. And from here, let's say show VLAN brief. Okay, we have our VLANs right there and there's no port and we have all the ports in the, in the default VLAN. But for security, we know we need to move this port. So let's move the other ones first. So um, fast Eastern Zero slash one is gonna be a trunk. Yeah, we don't care about it now. So let's do interface range VLAN, no, no, interface range, fast Ethernet zero slash five to 24. Switch port access VLAN 98. And then we do interface range um, gigabit zero slash one to two. Switch port access VLAN 98. All right, so now let's go to the interface zero slash one and make it a trunk. Let's actually see see what is the state of this switch port. So it's right now dynamic auto, it's enabled and everything. So we're going to set it to dynamic desirable. Um, switch port mode dynamic desirable. Okay, so we go to fast even zero slash two. No, zero slash two, which is connected to the VLAN 10. Switch port access VLAN 10. And um, we go to fast even zero slash three, switch port access VLAN 172, slash four, VLAN 192. All right, so we just put all the ports in the right VLAN, show VLAN brief. Okay, finance. Okay, the, the, the default has nothing in it. Finance has zero slash two. Legal has three and sales has four. And all the other ports are in the VLAN uh, 98. And there's no slash one here because it's a trunk. Let's see, is it a trunk already? Show interface trunk. Yep, it's already a trunk. That's fine. Okay, we do the same thing. On, we do the same thing on the switch number three here. Um, I'm going to do that quickly. I mean, I've been quick all this time, but I need to speed up a little bit. Okay. Um, conf T host name switch three, um, interface, no VLAN first VLAN 98 name safe VLAN 10 name finance VLAN 172 name legal vlan 192 name sales okay show vlan brief i don't know why i always have to go back to do a show command okay we have the vlan so now let's assign assign the port so I have interface fat Ethernet zero slash one. Oh, I didn't set up the default gateway. I mean the native VLAN in the other switch, but I'm going to do it. So zero slash one, we have switch port mode dynamic desirable. Oops, dynamic desirable. Fast zero slash two. This one is on switch port access VLAN ten. No zero slash two. Yeah, switch port access VLAN 10, 0 slash 3, VLAN 172, 0 slash 4, VLAN 192. I can go back to 0 slash 1 and, say, and do switch port trunk native VLAN 10 because the VLAN 10 needs to be the native one on this uh, trunk. It's gonna block on the other side, of course, because I haven't set it up yet. So I need to go back, uh, come back here and do the same thing. Uh, switch port trunk native VLAN 10. Let's copy the config. Same here. Voila. Oh, I was speaking French there. All right, so now we are set on these. 
they can go anywhere because it's all going up to this switch here so we need to configure that and from here if we go under the cli and we have all the errors uh, they're asking us for if we don't we want to do initial configurations we say no and i'm going to give it a name of um, switch one so what can we do i can take all the three ports and set them as trunk interface range gigabit 1.0.1 .1 to 3 switch port mode switch port mode trunk okay there is an error here look at this it says i can't set it to trunk if the encapsulation is auto i need to change the encapsulation from auto to something defined so i'm going to do switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q then i'm going to do switch port mode trunk and it's going to go through and then switch port trunk i need to set up the native vlan so we won't have those warnings anymore native vlan 10. All right, we also need to take care of all the other ports. Show VLAN brief. We can see that all the ports are still in the default VLAN and I'm going to move them. Oh, to create VLANs first and then move them. Okay. Um, VLAN 98. What is the three here? Three is connected here. Oh, it's not up yet. We'll see. All right, VLAN 98 name save VLAN 10 name finance finance VLAN 172 name legal VLAN 192 name um what was that again sales okay okay do show show villain brief okay we have the villains now we have to move everything that's not a trunk to the villain to the villain 98 so we're going to take interface range gigabit zero Oh, no. one slash zero slash we have three we take up to four to 24 switch port access vlan 98 and then um, we take the same thing but going from one to four for this second set of ports here one to four and this is one here no, in if it's range zero slash oh zero slash okay one to four we have one here okay switch for access more uh villain ninety eight show villain brief uh, I think we're good except the w zero slash one okay let's see what trunks we have here okay we have the 23 maybe the, i mean that one will become this one will become a trunk when we configure the router so let's go to the router for now we're good on this switch so we go in the cli um enable conf t i want to give it a name of r1 and um if i do do show ip interface brief you can see that we have three interfaces we're going to use zero slash zero that's what's being used here and we're going to create sub interfaces but we know that the native vlan is, is the vlan 10 so zero slash zero slash zero is going to be the the main port is going to be the default gateway for the vlan 10 so we do interface zero slash zero slash zero we're going to no shut it and then give it an IP address of 10.0.0.1. All right, now we have to create sub interfaces. 
the first sub interface is going to be that one. And when you create sub interface, we do encapsulation first, dot one Q, and that's going to be 172. Okay. So the IP address is going to be 172.16.0.1. No. Okay. And then the second sub interface is dash two so encapsulation 192. And the IP is going to be here is 255. Here is 168 and 192. At this point, it looks all configured. If we do show IP interface brief, yep, we have this. And let's try to ping from this computer to the other one. So I'm going to ping 192.168.0.3. The traffic goes up here, up to the router and comes back on the other end. All right, we have connectivity. It's all done. And I can come over here or come there and ping the 10 on the other end. Oops, nope. What am I doing? Right there. All right. It's failing for ARP and then. All right. It's done. It's configured for the lab zero. And the video has been running for like 17 minutes or something. So I'm going to leave this at that. So we're going to do the next two labs in the next video. And I'll see you there. So if you have any question, don't hesitate to go in the forum to ask your questions. And if you want to reach out, contact the kbturns.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And visit kbturns.com for more. And I here share a lot of projects of any kind that can help you start or grow your career in the IT. Thank you for watching me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.